up explorers in this video we're checking out the mounds of the acropolis the slopes of the acropolis have been occupied since the prehistoric times they started building here in the 6th century bc so shortly after you first come in this is the first ruin that you run into and it's right on an ancient road of course this is the chapel of saint pareskevi i probably butchered that an early christian church and then we had a roadside shrine right here gonna head on up here lots of cool views So right here is an ancient street, an ancient road. It's called the Street of the Tripods. It comes over here. This leads over to the sanctuary of some god. That's the Odium of Percules. Percules, not Hercules. <laughs> got a lot of work to do if they ever want to put all this stuff together. You see up there there's another little little Christian building. This area here was actually the first building on the slopes of the Acropolis. This is the sanctuary of Dionysus who was the god of entertainment and libation. Go up past the sanctuary of Dionysus, you end up running into the theater of Dionysus, which is right up there. Creation of a statue of Menander. So what we're looking at here is the backstaging area of the theater of Dionysus. It's where all the costume changes and all that kind of fun stuff happen. We look over here. We have the actual theater. Here's the stage down in the middle here. And then it goes all the way up there. Absolutely massive. When I was here back in 2015, you could actually go up and sit on these benches up here, but it looks like they have decided to close these, and it looks like they might be actually trying to restore it now, so that's kind of cool. But I wish you could get a better angle of what it might look like from, from the audience. In the shadows of the wall of the staging area of the theater is where the archaic temple of Dionysus resided. So the theater and the temple were built right around the same time. The temple a little bit earlier, but right around uh, 330 BC. A little bit lower on the hill here is the later temple of Dionysus. This is the altar in Dionysus. This is where people came to worship their god. I bet that was a hell of a party right here all the time. The later temple of Dionysus was built around the 5th century. It was relocated in the 19th century and then finally excavated in the 1960s. Cool. Drainage system that went all the way up to the top. And originally it was all covered like that. So you didn't even know it was there.
This here is the Korjic Monument of Nikias. And this is where all the rich people would come and get ready for the theater performance. <laughs> it's like right next door to the theater. This is the store of Eumenes II. It was donated by King Eumenes II uh, around 150 BC. It was built here in between the theater of Dionysus and theater of Herod Atticus, which is a theater that is still used today. Luciano Pavarotti played, performed there at one point. A nice view from the top of the Stoia of Eumenes II. And we're gonna head this way. Oh, big steps. Yeah, I swear these ancient Greeks, they had long legs. stuff up there. wouldn't be terrible seats to be up here all the way at the top. It's really cool. I don't know if you can see very well, but you have the original statues right there. The back of the stage wall there. from here. Just. This is the sanctuary to the god Asclepios and his daughter Hygieia. It was opened for worship in 420 BC. Here's the remains of an ionic stoa. Which is right next to a, an archaic fountain and a Byzantine cistern. So here we're looking at a, a bronze foundry. under the glass here but you can't really really see what's going on unfortunately right, coming up's probably gonna get us a copyright strike <laughs> so that should be fun but we're coming up on the uh, theater of Herodotus Atticus they're still using it today as you can hear
got some footage from the front of the place as well, so I'll put that in right here. The Odeon of Herodas Atticus, such an amazing theater. It was built in nine years between 169 and 160 BC. And it's still here, still being used for some pretty high profile concerts even. It's pretty awesome, man. Well, this is going to be a two-part video. In the next video, we're going to go up on to the top of the Acropolis and go check out the Parthenon and Eretia, the Temple of Nike, and all that other cool stuff up there. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss it. Go ahead and check this video out here. here. To go to the most recent series that we have playing right now on Taste and Travel. And down here is another video that you might be interested in. Click right here to subscribe if you already have. And if you're in Seattle, put a bag of bills. <laughs>